Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you've probably noticed by the title, I am going to be showing you how to prep a brand new acrylic brush. So this is going to be everything that you need to do with your brush once you get it and how to look after it and take care of it. So if you want to learn how to do that and how I take care of my brushes, then just keep watching this video. And also don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so when you get your brush, it will arrive in a tube like this and it will be wrapped super nicely and that way it's just going to prevent anything from happening to the brush in transit on its way to you. You just want to remove it from there and your brush will look like this. So this one is the pastel pink aqua brush and we have the pink glitters in there. It's absolutely gorgeous and it, this one is a size 12. So this brush is a flat oval and they will all come with this plastic cap on as well so you just want to get rid of that. This one is a flat oval and you can see that it's pinched here at the ferrule area. You can see the mark there. So all brushes do come in this point and sometimes people can mistake this as being the shape that the brush is and continuously then try to kind of reshape it into this point and that isn't the case. It's just set like this to keep the bristles nice and aligned and then when you get it, it will kind of open up and flatten down. Um, so don't be confused with that, although it does look like it should be in that point, that isn't how the brush works. So when you get your brush, it is all nicely bonded together with a gum residue. This just keeps the bristles in place and stops them from moving about, keeps everything nice and in line as well. So I'm going to show you how to remove that out and it is super simple and super easy. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I've moved a little bit closer so you can see the bristles. You can see some stray hairs there, but don't worry about that because this is a natural hair brush. So there might there may be a time where a hair is a little bit stray. Usually once we've prepped it, that will just go away. But if it doesn't, you can easily come in and trim those off. Um, so yeah, all I'm going to do is just come in. Don't mind as well, I've still got some acrylic on my nails, but let's just ignore that. Um, so we're going to come in with our fingers and we're just going to twizzle the brush like this now this is the only time that you want to be doing this with any with bare hands if this has got product on you don't want to be kind of doing that because then you're going to get product on your skin and we want to avoid that and we don't want to kind of expose ourselves to products where it's not necessary so you can just see if i try and get a close-up you can see kind of the dusty bits in there and the flakiness and that is just what we're getting rid of so you're just going to gently rub between your fingers and that's just going to loosen that product in there and I'm going to show you let me zoom in can you see all of that kind of let me get something a little bit so I can gently do this now you don't want to be doing any tools through your brush but I just want to show you guys all of that residue that's in there you can kind of see it's like a dusty a dusty residue so that's what we're getting rid of so all you're doing is using your fingers and gently rubbing that gently gently treat this like it's your own hair at the end of the day it is natural and it needs looking after it's not just going to kind of miraculously look after itself you need to look after it like your life depends on it um, and really take care of your brushes if you do you can have them for years and years and they will last you so long so now we've done that we're going to come in and we're just going to flick back and forth and notice how I'm doing it super gentle and I'm being aware of the bristles. I'm not coming in and kind of jamming it or bending them. You don't want to misshape any. You want to be really gentle and this is just going to flick out the product. I can see with my lights here all that product is just coming out of the bristles. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera. If I had a black background you probably would be able to see maybe some of it. Yeah, look, you can see there, you can see all that flicking out and that is what we're getting rid of. We're just doing this super, super gently. You don't want to come in with anything else other than your fingers. We're not going to use a comb or we're not going to use any tools. We're just being super gentle. And then again, after we've done that, we're going to come back in and we're going to use that really, really gentle massaging motion and just again, rub, rub, rub and then pull to the ends and I'm not applying much pressure at all I'm just feathering it out and then I'm going to go back in and do the back and forth again be mindful of the bristles we don't want to be bending any we're simply just coming in and loosening that product and then I'm going to go this way 
and it's just going to allow that product I think you can see because my glove is black you can kind of see that product leaving the bristles can you see it just landing on my glove there so that's what we're getting rid of and you want to do it for quite some time you don't just want to do it for a second or 30 seconds and think that that's good enough because it's not because if you leave any of that in um, it's just going to cause the product to build up within the bristles and it's going to be really hard to get rid of that and maintain your brush and look after it so you do want to make sure that you are thorough with this part again be careful with the brushes be gentle with them we're not trying to damage anything we're just removing that residue from the bristles so now that you have done that your brush looks like this now i've had emails of people saying oh my god my brush is ruined like this is how it looks well that's because you haven't put it in monomer yet so it's gonna look fluffy you've just fluffed it up um, once you apply that monomer to it you're going to get that nice slender shape so at this point don't worry that it's super fat and fluffy and you're thinking how the heck am I going to apply my product with this I'm going to show you now what the next step is so I've got my dapping dish and I'm just going to grab a paper towel as well just to pop that down so I can show you guys <clears throat> the dish that I'm using is the dish from Glitter Planet it's absolutely glorious it's huge and I love it I always struggle to find a big dappen dish so I was like you know what I'm just gonna make one myself so that is where we are at with that and I'm just gonna get some monomer so this is the premium adhesive monomer so whatever monomer you are using is what you're gonna use so at this point you can use the brush that you've just fluffed up and can you see how some of those hairs are kind of wisping out don't be scared of that that's fine that's normal this is natural hair it's going to be a little bit, you know, everywhere at the moment. We've just fluffed it up. Imagine getting your hands and running it through your hair. It's not just going to then sit nice and neat, is it? It's going to be a bit messed up. So that's basically what we've done with the brush. So I'm just going to use the neck of the brush just to pop a little bit of liquid into my dish. You want to make sure you are using clean liquid for this. I don't use brush cleaners. I find them too harsh on the bristles. Um that's just my opinion so i wouldn't recommend using brush cleaners i always just use my monomer so can you see that already all i've done is gone ahead and applied uh, and just used it to m put the monomer into the dish and we've already got a nice uniformed look on those bristles so i'm just going to move my dish over there so then all i've done is that i'm going to just wipe my brush like this a couple of times in the paper towel and that's just going to align the bristles and get rid of any of that extra gum and product that is in there whilst keeping that nice flat oval shape so as you see we've got the oval roundness but then we are flat so i'm going to do that a few more times so you just want to get your brush and you're going to pop it into your dish and wiggle side to side very gently, you don't want to apply a big pressure or a heavy pressure, you just gently, gently wiggling side to side, scraping out the excess on the side, again with a gentle pressure, and then you're going to come back to your paper towel and just wipe that on either side. So you don't want to start wiping it, so can you notice that the brush is fat? You, you want to keep wiping it on that side and then flip it completely over onto the other side, following the lines where the brush is crimped. You don't want to start coming here on the thin side and trying to create a point because I'll show you what that's going to do which I've had emails on this before so you try and get it to a point and the more you do it it is possible but the more you do it you're just going to get a kind of a split here you'll notice if you've done it it's not meant to go like that the brush will just split at the end and it will just look like it's not meant to be like that and that's because it's not it isn't meant to be in a point like this it's meant to be a flat oval shape so if you are wanting a more pointy brush the kind of shape for you is a round brush and you will get that more point um so definitely look into that i just love working with flat ovals i think they are absolutely fabulous um for a product application and distribution on the nail absolutely amazing so another thing i'm just going to do that several times just to make sure that it's got everything out i'm just dipping my brush into the dish 
wiggling side to side gently. This is just going to make sure that the monomer gets between all of the bristles, gets rid of any air that might be trapped or any of that residue or gum that may be trapped within the brush. We're just twirling in the dish nice and gently, wiping off and then you're going to come to your paper towel and repeat the process of wiping off that gum and residue. You want to do that a few more times. And then that is it. That is your brush prepped and ready to go. So I just wanted to cover another thing as well with the aqua brushes. Of course, they have this nice, beautiful, clear handle filled with gorgeous glitters and we want to keep them this way. So now I've had brushes for like a couple of years from my website, which are these brushes and they are absolutely fine. There is no like melting of the product. There's no issues. Let me just grab one that I use um that i've been using i think about eight months this particular one i had to swap over because my little girl came into my room and kind of ruined my brushes um but notice how the handle is still absolutely fine i have a slight bit of wear just on the number 12 you can slightly see and the n on the nail mate but it's not like the product hasn't melted or anything like that and that is because i am very very careful with my product and my monomer and my application you'll notice in my videos that you don't see any monomer on my skin you don't see it all the way up my brush you don't see the fact that my brush has melted here you want to make sure that you are using the monomer correctly you don't want to overfill your dish if you have a large dish you don't want to be filling it up to the top so that the product comes all the way up here and then when you're touching here you are getting it all over your fingers and up here because then if you don't wear gloves for one, that's going to be overexposure of the products on your skin and it's going to lead to problems. Whether you think it's going to or not, I can assure you, you will more than likely get some form of skin problem, either contact dermatitis, an allergy or reactions and eventually you just won't be able to wear any kind of nail products because you've overexposed your skin to the product and the chemicals. So definitely be mindful of that. Not only are you overexposing your skin if you're going to get product all the way up here and on your hands, you're also ruining your brush because the product's going up and up and up and it's just going to start melting this. Whether you've got a metal brush, a wooden brush or a plastic handled brush like this, you just want to be mindful of that and work as clean as possible. Your liquid shouldn't really come past like, well, as you can see, mine's just going to there. I normally don't allow my liquid to come past about here. Um, it definitely shouldn't be going all the way up here on the brush. So definitely just be mindful of it. It's just something to think about and be aware okay, of. Okay, so now I've prepped my brush, I am ready to go ahead and pick up my acrylic and we're just going to do just that. I'm just going to demonstrate how well this brush will now pick up and that there is no residue in there whatsoever. Can you see how beautiful and crisp those bristles are? There is nothing stuck between, there is nothing in there. Everything is fabulous and we are good to go. So we're going to submerge and I'm just going to pick up a bead and place it on the paper towel just to show you guys that everything is working fine and the brush is ready to start working and servicing clients. And your brush should be with you for a long, long time. I have had brushes for years and as long as you look after them, you really should be able to keep them. So yeah. There we are. This colour as well is pure pink. I'm hoping to have it available at Glitter Planet very, very soon. You guys are so excited for it and I am super excited for it to launch. Okay guys, so I really hope you've enjoyed my little brush prep beginner's guide video and even if you are a seasoned, well established, like professional nail tech, you've been doing this for years, you may well have learned something new as well. Like there's never enough learning to do. There's always something to know there's always something to learn i'm learning every single day and i'm pushing myself every single day to be better at what i do and now i'm sharing it with you guys as well so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i hope you've learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up like this video share this video comment below what you've learned and until the next one always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and i love you Bye.